in, your ice cream's more prone to go rough texture, sandy, gritty ice. I kind of want to lick it. So here we're heating it up to a very special temperature. And what temperature? Well, that's a secret, but it's really special because that's where the Maillard reaction starts. I've heard of this. What, what's a Maillard reaction? Well, the Maillard reaction is when the proteins from the milk reacts with the sugars and it gives this really um, subtle caramelised note. Breaking down the fat globules into millions of tiny little small fat globules. Do you think you might be able to do that to my beer belly? <laughs> Why do they need to be tiny? This is one that we just did yesterday and we didn't homogenise it. You can see it's begun to separate out. Oh, yeah. Why do you use ammonia to cool the ice cream? It's a very, very green refrigerant gas. There's no emissions whatsoever. It is hot like the sun. for sure that the honeycomb hasn't gone all the way down to the bottom. It's the ripple and nipple effect, Greg. Go on, what is that? We have a ripple across the top and then a nipple in the middle. It shows us that we've got the right amount of air in the ice cream to give us the correct viscosity. And that ensures us that the honeycomb is mixed throughout the pot. Now that's incredible. <laughs>